Hey everyone, my name is Fan Yang. I'm the technical marketing engineer for the cloud service router at Zazv. Today I'm gonna walk through the way how do you register the CSR through Cisco Smart Licensing. So, how do you manage your Cisco device today? Most of the customers they are using the traditional node lock method, so we call the PAK license. So with that type of license, the license is titled to the device's serial number. So there will not be an issue if you are using a physical box, so the serial number will never change until the box is, is broken or you do a RMA. But this will cause an issue in the virtual world or in the software world. So because assuming you have a virtual router in the cloud and you just want to use for two hours and then you just shut it down and you want to create another router in the next day. So the new router will come up with different serial number as the previous one because the serial number is based on the virtual machines UUDI the serial number so that virtual machine has been created so the num serial number will change so how do we solve that issue is we are trying to introduce the new method of licensing we call smart licensing so it will give you a license as a pool give you a smart licensing account and you log into the account you will see your available license so once a device has been destroyed, the license will be released in the pool so it can be reused in the next device or virtual device. And you don't have to create, uh, care about the serial number, how that serial number change and what other change you have to do. It's just transparent to you. And also there are multiple ways customer can deploy the smart licensing. So you can have your, you can have the CSR or any of your device connect to the smart licensing uh, server in the public, which Cisco provides to you, the Cisco public uh, smart licensing server. In order for that to work, you have to make sure your HTTP or HTTPS works and can talk to the Cisco server. So basically just port 80 and the port uh, 443 is open, so that's fine. And also, we, we do see some customer have challenges, they don't want to the device open to the internet, open to the Cisco public uh, server. So what you can do is you can put a Cisco uh, smart license satellite in your network. So that's air gap network requirement, and the satellite doesn't have to be synced with the uh, Cisco public server through an internet connection. They can be exchanged the status through file exchange. So basically, you just download file from the satellite, upload to the Cisco public server and download another file installed in the satellite so it knows how much license you have and you can just do it 30 days or once a month. So it's we have we do have two models for people to deploy the smart license. And how do you register and deregister the license on the CSR? I would say it's pretty easy. So you only have three steps to register and one step to re deregister. So let's go to the demo and show you how we can make it work. So now, as you can see, I have one CSR that's running in AWS, uh, just for this demo. This is the public, public IP. So I just log into the router. First step is to do a smart license, smart enable. This will tell you the router, okay, I want to use the smart license method to get license, or, the otherwise, or otherwise it will just use the traditional pack. Then I just do license smart register ID token. Now you have to put a token. How do you get the token? Let's go to the smart licensing pod. So this is the pod I'm talking about. As you can see, I'm in my uh, BU production test account. I'm using my virtual account, CSR VMware certification. It doesn't matter what name it is. Now I have multiple license. As you can see, only this one, the second one, CSR 1KB AX 2.5 gig has quality Called, uh, quantity 10, so which means I have 10 available license and zero in use. The other three license has been expired. I didn't remove that from my account yet, so you don't have to pay attention. So now, where do you get the token? The question is, so you go to the general tab, and you can see those are the tokens I have used before. You can create a new token. You just put a description and how many days after expire, because we don't want to create like 
forever token people can just use. It's not safe. So I, I will just use one of token I've created before. So I can just uh, let me refresh the page. Okay. So I have to find my virtual account. This one, okay, I got my token, put my token here. Okay, now you can see registration process is in progress. You can show license status to check the status. Okay, so now it says I'm registered to this smart account and let's do another one, okay. I'm which virtual account I'm using, the CSR, VMware certification. Okay, so now it says it has been registered. But it, has, it, has, it hasn't been fully registered. As you can see, there's another step. You have to enable the throughput. Because by default, the CSR will just use 100K BPS by default. So now if we go to the portal, we click license, we can see there is zero license used, right? So, which means the instance itself is not using the license yet. But we can see the instance. So, if we click the instance, and now you can see there's no license found. So, that means you didn't enable the throughput yet. So, we have to enable throughput platform, hardware, throughput level, and B. Basically, this is 2.5 gig. Wait for 2.5 gig license request to succeed. So if we do show license all, okay. Now you can see the license usage. I already registered one AX 2.5 gig. The number of the license is one, and I have the status is pending. So let's check. And we can go back here. Let's click the license. Okay, so now it says has been authorized from the CSR perspective. Um, if we go back to license, okay, we can see this is the, we have already one in use. We can click this number. We can see this is the instance. We can click the instance. It will lead us here. And you can see now it has one 2.5 gig license. And we can also check on the CSR show platform hardware. So this is command I put here. Platform hardware throughput level. Now you can see it's running at 2.5 gig. So I would say it's pretty easy for customer to register the CSR through the smart licensing. And then the customer will probably you will ask, how do I transfer license to a new CSR? So there are multiple ways, or there are multiple stuff you have to remember. So before you ter terminate the CSR, you have to do a license deregister. License smart deregister. So with this, sorry, deregister. With this command, the CSR will release the license from the smart licensing portal. So if you go back to the, if you do a show license or, okay, you can see Stator is unregistered. And if you go back to the portal, you can see the license sh should have been released. Let's just refresh. Okay, now you can see the license has been released. So it, there's zero in use. And also the product instance has been gone. So this is how you deregister the uh, license from the CSR. And probably you will have the question, what if I forgot to deregister and I terminate the CSR, how do I remove the license in the portal? So let me show you how to do that. So let, let's just uh, register again. Okay, so it has been uh, registered. It will take some time. Okay. 
that's authorized. The reason why I don't have to use the platform hardware throughput in this time is because the command is already there. Because I put the command before. Yeah, so you can see it has come up. So your question will be, how do I remove this license if I just, uh, you know, determine that the, the virtual machine was virtual machine has been done? So you can just uh, click the instance remove. If you continue the product instance, this one will no longer appear in the license and will no longer be consumed on any license. In order to bring the back, you will need to deep to re-register it again. So I just remove it. Let's see what happened. Okay, so now it says the product instance was successfully removed, and you can see you have 10 license can be used. There's zero. Yeah, so this license has been released and you can continue to license the new CSR. So I would say this demo for this using the smart licensing to reduce CSR is pretty easy and hopefully it can help you to reduce the time when you enjoy the networking in the virtual world. Thank you very much.